Welcome back to the channel, I'm OP, and in today's episode, we will be going over some of the best highlights between JDG and NIP during the upper bracket round two phase of the LPL 2024 spring playoffs. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Both have opted into scaling lanes, so now getting to yeah. see the new look from JDG in game one, and now NIP falling back on the Varsash, it's kind of nice, and it's kind of uncharted territory for both sides in yeah. playoffs. Beautiful stuff from Photo Control. I want to quickly mention Shanji in the top side. Although I may not have time to talk builds because the Wither comes on through. Flash immediately from Flandre. Gets a gold card, but Aki moves in, flashes to find the stun and sets up for first blood with the siphoning strike. They get their bot lane ahead. They get Shanji moving forward with this kill, trying to find as many advantages as they can. It's what nice. they can do with this composition because it's a comp that snowballs hard. And it looks like they're going to hope for some aggression on bot side. I don't think they could do much here because they haven't had any heavy trading coming out, but if Rookie's coming down, they definitely can. Aki tries to steal the Gromp. Ganavi did finish it, and he is level 6. I don't know if this is a fight they necessarily want. Nice dodge from Rookie. Another Mantra Q. Yagao flicked back. Rookie is just destroying Yagao in the 1v1. However, it's not a 1v1 anymore, and his flash is forced. Kanavi pops the Grandmaster's might. Bit more damage onto Rookie will finish the job, and Kanavi answers the early kill top. Getting the kill onto the premier carry for JDG. It's exactly what you want to see. Now even going to be able to steal away some Raptors from the enemy. But I like that JDG are constantly setting up these small traps because like you said, gold lead not really being massively there. Uh, and hell, not being there at all for an IP. They're only CS lead being in bot, but it's being equalized by what JDG have been able to find for Kanavi and Flandre. And these two are not stopping, man. No, they are not. Chanji. You know, it's one of those angles where maybe Merc Treads <laughs> was the play because, my God, there's a lot of stuns coming your way. Shanji under tower. Kanavi tanking for the time being, takes a couple more shots, but flashes the last one. And it means that that is a kill. And man, he plays on the top side. They got six groups to work with. Ult in the bottom side leads to nothing. JDG, they're doing this beautifully in the early game. And I love that they ended up, you know, making this play, going for this push, because again, no we lead over Shanji. Again, we saw this man come in into the Labo series after after six series being played with Sheer. A lot of questions were asked. He absolutely popped off against Weibo. Didn't have the, you know, the same series against Tez as missing goes for the hook. Yakao's here, but so is Rookie Fotik, the target, if they can finish the job, but they cannot. Missing falls. Yakao is next, and they're trying to set up Fotik and set up. They will double kill into the hands of the Varus. He's really open. That's when Flandre's life is going to be hard, right? There's going to be nowhere you can just run to it and feel safe. If the ghost gets down, you can't walk back up, or Shanji will just be able to run you down that, that elongated lane, luckily. Those turrets not being down just yet. Fotik gonna get caught out. No cleanse available either. The gold card sets it up and ruler there to finish it off. Beautifully done there as Kanavi jumps in just in time to get an assist. And I feel like, honestly, JDG, they have just read this game so beautifully. Exactly right. Even though NIP have... And I have to say, you know, we've been following JDG at a top level for a long time at this point. Oh. <laughs> we do want to see strength from this team. I'd love to see JDG make it back to MSI again, have the opportunity to repeat, to defend their title. They need a solid win here against NIP if they want any chance against BLG or Top Esports, whoever wins their matchup or whoever loses their matchup, sorry, tomorrow. It's a nice buffer from missing. The follow-up CC doesn't really do anything from Aki. The rookie is looking at a different target. Now the hook comes on in, and JDG with a counter punch. Aki the target on the front line. As Kanavi charged forward with the triple stun. He's so tanky, but finally goes Ooh. down. And suddenly it turns around again. NIP chasing for more, and four go their way. What a huge fight coming out from the ninjas in pajamas. It looked like everything was going JDG's way, but now they're going to get mid lane turret. They've already picked up all these kills, and they're going to get themselves on soul point. The longer this goes on, the stronger that Nazus will get in a side lane. I'm getting a little bit nervous. I don't often feel nervous just watching League of Legends, but I'm so invested in both of these teams. I feel like I've really invested in all four of our top teams this year. I feel like they've all got big names that you want to see at MSI, that you want to see succeed. Oh. Voting caught out here as Flandre flies into the play as well. Cleanse does nothing as Aki gets over the wall, but Dwar was caught on the bottom side. And that's two for JDG. 
And I love the way that JDG are adapting. They know they can't win in that sideline up against the Nasus. So just create numbers advantage, find the kills, and now they're looking for the Baron rookie. Aki and Shanji are going to try and interrupt. Got to see a miracle here. The hook slightly wide. Good dodge from rookie as Aki is forced away. And back to the barrack. Wow. JDG, no. In fact, backing away, not confident to go for it. They pulled off too far, right? They, 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 it, looks, it looks like they're conceding. Shanji's just going to solo this while the rest of NIP zone people away. They're going to trade for a tier two in the top side. I'm not 100% sure whether it's worth it or not. It is one of the weaker souls, but like I said, the, the chem drakes given healing and shielding power helps the Nasus. The uh, reduced damage at low HP helps as well. Destiny out to safety from Flandre as Rookie tried to punish with his own ultimate. And now JDG, they jump straight onto the bank. They want to punish NIP. They got to do this fast because now they don't have the destiny to, you know, see where everyone is if a fight breaks out to try to have the advantage. Aki doesn't have ultimate available and he's CC'd up. He can't get into the pit. Baron taken. Rule is the one that gets it and they lose their support. And now an arrow lands straight onto Yagao as well. He's got no flash from the previous play and he falls to Fotic. It's two and a soul for Baron. So a huge he... flash. Only the heal being used there on top of Shanji's TP. So some summoners did have to be used. So nice aggress coming out from JDG, but definitely went better than, uh, than it probably so could have. I've got a little update for you because I've realized that I'm a fool. Uh, Dagda has chucked me a DM and he saved my skin here. It was Flandre's ultimate that popped the spell shield earlier. It's a really great coordination, punishing the misposition from Fotic. He's in the destiny. Rookie sidesteps from the hook, has the flash available, but I don't know if he gets a chance to use it. Barely gets away from Yaghouse Q. JDG, we're gonna see how much more they can push with this. Flandre, still having that ult available. Can it be decide to over aggress? Knockups onto missing. He's tanky. He walks away. Aki has to flash on out of the players. Ruler slowed down. And NIP are slowly but surely pushing for this one. Kanabi goes down. It's a one for one. It's Ruler on the front line now. But Rookie has re entered. And Shanji's Shanji. on the flank. This could be huge. And a flash from Votic sets it up. Double for the bot laner of NIP. And Shanji comes in to finish the job. Beautiful fighting from NIP. And they show their no slouch. Of, of moving forward you do essentially have two crit 80 carries for jdg right so the dps is there but yeah. the question is if you'll really be able to use it between sejuani or wither enchanted crystal arrow speaking okay. of good buffer from missing but now the virus all lands as well knocked back from rookie to try to keep himself safe has to flash over the wall and the flandre. carries hello flandre is cleaning things up and nip it's looked so good but it's falling apart shanji trying to 1v5 in the middle of everyone and he just can't do it flandre with a triple and jdg oh. shutting nip out of this series it's an ace and an unofficial quadra kill for Flandre. Flandre heard the haters after last series and coming in with a great game. JDG are on fire. Who needs Elder Dragon? Certainly not JDG. 30 minutes on the clock, down in kills, but up in games in the series. 2-0 now as JDG soar ahead. These were some of the best highlights from the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs matchup between JDG and NIP. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.